Pope Francis met in Naypyidaw with the president and prime minister of Myanmar, Aung San Suu Kyi. She joined him during the meeting with civil authorities and foreign ambassadors. Although she didn't directly mention the Rohingyas, the Nobel Peace Prize winner spoke about the situation in the Rakhine province, the epicenter of this minority's humanitarian crisis. Of the many challenges that our government has been facing, the situation in the Rakhine has most strongly captured the attention of the world. As we address long-standing issues, social, economic, and political, that have eroded trust and understanding, harmony and cooperation between different communities in Rakhine, the support of our people and of good friends who only wish to see us succeed in our endeavors has been invaluable. Your Holiness, the gifts of compassion and encouragement that you bring to us will be treasured. The Pope spoke with prudence but with clarity. He said peace building must respect everyone and be based on human rights. Il futuro del Myanmar deve essere la pace, una pace fondata sul rispetto della dignità e dei diritti di ogni membro della società, sul rispetto di ogni gruppo etnico e della sua identità, sul rispetto dello Stato di diritto e di un ordine democratico che consenta a ciascun individuo e ad ogni gruppo nessuno escluso di offrire il suo legittimo contributo al bene comune. In a country where tensions against Muslim minorities are incited by Buddhist extremists, Pope Francis said religion cannot be an obstacle to peace. Le differenze religiose non devono essere fonte di divisione e di diffidenza, ma piuttosto una forza per l'unità, per perdono, per la tolleranza e la saggia costruzione del Paese. The Pope's address was much appreciated, perhaps because they were the strongest words to date to be spoken in Myanmar about the crisis. After the encounter, which happened late in the afternoon, Pope Francis returned to Yangon. A day before the meeting, the Pope met in Yangon with the military leader, General Min Aung Leng. He is responsible for the military campaign that has caused the exodus of some 600,000 Rohingya. No images were released from the short 15-minute encounter with Pope Francis. According to the Vatican spokesman Greg Burke, they discussed the great responsibilities of authorities of the country in this time of transition. The general, on his part, reported on his official Facebook page that he explained to the Pope, There is no religious discrimination in Myanmar. There is religious freedom. Every soldier's goal is to build a stable and peaceful country.